Uh, again, play them on. This is the Dragon Barrows Nerdsville. This is a. This is part two. This is a uh, toilet etiquette in in watching an indie fed wrestling federation. You see what where I am now. This is where I li I live. This is where I live. Not in this particular location, but this is my the bathroom of the house that I live in. With with one solid toilet and the and the toilet roll there and the toilet roll holder there a uh, bit of a vanity mirror and there That is it. Honestly, I can take one, two, three, three steps, and I'm already at the door. And solid toilet, solid toilet. In some locations, when you go to where you can view professional wrestling as I made mention the, the, the as I made mention from my bed from the side of my bed to my wall can be the distance between the ring and the front row of a, of a wrestling show or the location where the wrestling is and where I am now, the bathroom of, of, of the house that I'm in, is the, is, can be the size of some bathrooms that you'll be waiting in line for just to go to the toilet. And there is a strong etiquette. First etiquette, first bit of rules. This, the, if there's a single bowl, don't go all uri urinal on it. Don't go. E e e. Or just don't do. Like you're pretending to. Pretend to, you know, swing a bat or a golf club. Don't. Also, don't. Which. Which there could be another fifteen. Not 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 fifteen, but another five individuals. Waiting, to go to 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 the, to the toilet. And they have to sit down, and if they and they have to stand literally stand in your pee if you're a gentleman, if you're a man, if you're a female and you scooch a bit too, too forward, you just squat and pee, you know? Uh, second rule of etiquette, it's not your, it's not your, your bathroom at home. Uh, if I know you just don't do green you don't need to use well most of the time you, you have to use quite a lot of this but be but be uh, generous to be kind to the uh, fellow fan 
and that is to keep the toilet paper above the floor if there's going to be any liquid on there. Oh, sorry. And that's another. And that's another thing. Wash after you, you use it. Don't let just let all the waste pile up. If if you do it, if you just doing a pee, leave it. If it's just the the yellow pee in there, leave it. But if you do the 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 dos, you're know, doing the dos. Pull up. You just flush. Don't be don't be an eco snob and say oh. Flushing is a is an environmental th problem. Don't be like that. Be considerate and flush. Because that much makes it hard to flush. Also, a third thing is don't. Uh, I'm just using my tooth. This is my toothbrush. And don't don't get, don't pull out like a pen or remark and go. Don't write the a professional wrestler's name on the wall like a dazzling Dick Donga was here, and you. And you draw like a championship belt, and and also don't write down your like uh, galactic storm wrestling rules or is king or something like that. Don't write don't write down any promotion. On the wall, don't write down any superstar. And if you're, if you find yourself having to go into the opposite sex is one, don't write down. If you're, if you're, if you're, a, if you're a man, don't write down. Hey, sunset dazzle. This is my number. This is my Facebook account. This is my uh, Twitter Twitter thing. This is my address. I love you so much. I I want you. That's stalking material. That person, Sunset Dazzle, you can take a photo and guess what? You can be in court. Don't do that. Uh, fourth thing to do in in the bathrooms for if you're a for you going to indie events simply well this is good this is the most important one don't let's treat it like it's your if it is your own bathroom you would not want people to write as I said if it converts the other three points into one. If you're in a rental house and you have and you share the rent with other individuals that you don't know well enough or you, you know or you know extremely well hello this is the rental house bathroom the wrestling promotion or the in the indie promotion is renting out that building and in doing so you are also an equal tenant upon buying a ticket so you have to make sure that you 
keep the bathroom nice and tidy. You, you don't go crazy just because you're in, your, in the opening match, want your favorite wrestler lost, and you go, yeah, and you know, pick up something slimy or disgusting. You just you know smear it on the wall, or smear it on the toilet, and storm out cursing. You you're cursing in that. It's it's just common sense to have to be in. As this is not as this is my the bathroom in the house that I um, rent um, with my father in is a small bathroom and some some press wrestling promotions and that independent wrestling promotions and that do rent areas where that you can have a bigger bathroom but this is more for the smaller venues that only have Two ba oh sorry, two bathrooms. One for literally one room like this for for men, and the same size the uh, area for women. And with that, you and as I said, upon buying a ticket, you have literally signed. A co you've co-signed the rental agreement for that night that you won't do any damage to the to the property and the toilet and the toilet is literally that it is a part it is the property of the venue and and let me just say When you go to an indie venue and it has a very small bathroom, the way from one that I'm in now, or the toilets that I'm, I'm in the bathroom, but there are toilets that are actually the same size. Be considerate to each other, and sometimes uh, there's no third, there's no third or fourth bathrooms for the wrestlers who. Who are putting on the show? They have to. They have to go around, and sometimes they have to go into the same, use the same bathroom as you do. If you use the same toilets as you, and you don't want to have your favorite wrestler sit in a pile of crap, or. To have a female wrestler slip, or have any wrestlers slip in, in some sort of liquid or something like that, and they slip, they injure themselves, they won't be able to compete for for in that in that uh, in that show. And if it's your favorite one, and you're the one who let who did not do anything, who didn't show respect to the, uh, to that particular environment, well then it is, and in, the, in your favorite wrestler does injure themselves, it's, it is your fault that your favorite wrestler did not make an appearance. Well, it's also your fault if the heel injured themselves or the main event wrestlers have injured themselves and just as I said and, and just on that note again show respect to the wrestlers to the ring crew and to your fellow wrestling fan treat the washroom like the toilet and washroom area like you would your own home I'm Dragon Barrows and Flame, and burn you later.
Bye.